Okay, we're going to do a video on metric measure. So hopefully you already know how many millimeters are in a centimeter, how many centimeters are in a meter, and how many meters are in a, are in a kilometer. But let's go through it just to double check. So one centimeter has 10 millimeters on it. So rulers are normally in centimeters. And between each centimeter, there'll be 10 millimeters on that ruler. If you want to have a look, if you've got any rulers lying about, you'll notice that. One meter is the equivalent of 100 centimeters. And one kilometer is 1,000 meters. The kilometer one, I always remember with a K, See if anybody ever talks about how much money they earn per year. You might have heard them say, oh, I earn 10K or 12K or 20K, or I run the 5K, things like that. So when they just say K, the K represents 1,000. So 1KM stands for one kilometer. Or some people say kilometers, it's the same thing. And that is equivalent to 1,000 meters. There's 100 centimeters in a meter and 10 millimeters in a centimeter. So if you don't know that, I would learn those now. Right, I'm going to use a little loop system to help us move between millimeters, centimeters, meters, and kilometers. Because what you're going to get asked is things like convert... 420 centimeters into meters and you need to know how to do that you need to know you're going to multiply or you're going to divide and are you going to multiply or divide by 10 100 or a thousand so what i could do is i put loops on them put my arrow so we'll work our way this way first so if i know millimeters and i'm trying to get to centimeters how would i do it well if it was 10 millimetres, it's just going to get me one centimetre. I'm going to have to divide by 10 to work that out. So if we had 20 millimetres to start with, that would just equal two centimetres. Right, if I knew my centimetres, how do I get back to my metres? I'm going to divide by 100. And how do I convert from metres to kilometres? So because a thousand meters is one kilometer, I'm going to have to divide by a thousand to get me back into kilometers. But if I want to go the other direction, I will multiply all my answers. So I'll multiply by a thousand when I'm changing from kilometers into meters. Then I'll multiply by a hundred when I'm changing from meters into centimeters. And then I'll multiply by 10 if I'm converting between centimetres and millimetres. Okay, now we'll do some examples to show you how to use this. Okay, so here are three examples. The first one is how to change 420 metres into centimetres. So if you look at the table above, to get from metres to centimetres, the arrow has to go this way, so we're going to times by 100. So you would explain that you're multiplying by 100 and then tell me the answer. So to multiply by 100, if it's not a decimal number, we can just add the two extra zeros on the end. So 42,000 would be the answer, and that would be in centimetres. If we're changing from centimetres back into metres, we're going this direction. So we're going to divide by 100. So just explain that we're dividing by 100. Now, you would chop off two zeros if you had two, two zeros to chop off and it wasn't a decimal number, but we don't have. So if there's no decimal number, it's at the end. So the numbers, when we're dividing by 100, are going to become smaller by two places. So you basically imagine the 0 and the 5 jumping over the decimal point. So the answer is going to be 6.5. You don't need to say 6.50 because it's not money. And you don't need extra zeros at the end after decimal point. 
So that would be the same as 6.5 meters. If you said 6.50 meters, that's okay. So don't overly worry about that. We just don't need to put those extra zeros in if we don't need them. Okay, example three. In this one, we're going to go from kilometers all the way to millimeters. So we're going to times by a thousand, times by a hundred, and then times by ten. So do it in three parts. So 0 0.04 times by a thousand will convert it into meters. To times by a thousand, we move the digit, which is the four, by three places to make it bigger. So one, two, three, four. So four would end up in the hundreds column. So 400. And that changes it into meters. Then we're going to take the 400 and times by 100. And that would be 40,000 centimeters. Okay. Now the last step is to get from centimeters to millimeters. So we're going to have to times by 10. So I'm just going to lift this up a little bit. I'll cover that over. So we've got 40,000 centimeters. I'm going to need to times that by 10 to get it into mill millimeters. So it's going to become 400,000 millimeters. And that's the answer to those three examples. So in your notes, you should have this diagram. And I would advise that you keep that handy when you're working through the work. That will really, really help you. Okay, so when you're going from millimetres to centimetres, we we'll divide by 10. From centimetres to metres, divide by 100. And to change it into kilometres from metres, we divide by 1,000. But when you're going the other direction, make sure you do your multiplication instead. Thanks.